the three mile chase will close out day one of the trials and it's great sadder at the top for Darren Thompson who's also got Ocean Cave Area Elliot for David Robertson Temple of Buddha and Tobania Carpet for Derek Hinton Stentorian Parade Jim Murray The Devastator Joshua Sullivan New Constellation Leon Van Rensburg Carvo Doro and the go between for Martin Eden, Baltic Moon and Tower Amulets for Graham Clutterbuck, Little Rock Hood and Little Rock Kingdom for Vinnie Gerard, Lady Sharona, Alex Cherry, Mallorca Dream for David Hooley, Tipsy Queen, John Morgan and Thunder Rosa, Matt Cooper, they're away and racing. And heading down towards the first fence. Which this time they've all got a road. No, they haven't because New Constellation's gone. So there's a surprise. Leon Van Rensburg's charge crashing out at the first. And the Devastator has now come through to take the lead as they come to the second. And they've all got over the second, okay. Uh, Tipsy Queen and the Devastator from Tower Hamlet's back in third. Then a gap to Stentorian Parade. As they get to the third, which is a ditch and then all over it safely. As you don't know, the racing was slightly delayed due to the late arrival of the Jim Murray horses. Apparently they got lost and Greg couldn't find them. Anyway, they're over the fourth and they're all okay. Found them now, and we're away. And the Devastator and Tipsy Queen are disputing the lead. On Tower Hamlet's back in third, in Stentorium Parade. With a Tobinia carpet on the inside of that one, and a little gap then to Great Sadler and the go between. Then Lady Sharona is after that one. With Cavo Doro, and Little Rock Hood, Thunder Rosa is next as they get to the fifth. Safely over the fifth with Baltic Moon just the back marker. A short run to the sixth. Uh, there was a mistake there by oh, something in the pack. I think it was Great Saddler as they get to the ditch. And there's a fall at the back there. Mallorca Dream's gone. Uh, Mallorca Dream is out. Uh, two of the top trainers have lost a horse in this then. In fact, Leon's lost his own for so is David. Um, Hooley as well, both of them only got the one in this. And it's the Devastator who's clear in the lead. Oh, Tipsy Queen in second. And a gap to Tower Hamlets in third. The Go Betweens move through in a fourth. Then Tobinia Carpet and Cavo Doro. And Lady Sharona as they get to the ninth. Looks they all get over okay. Baltic Moon still just a back marker. But the Devastator is bowling along in the lead. Tipsy Queen second. Tower Hamlet's third. And go between is after that as they come up past the stands. This will be the final fence next time round. All safely over it. Really big crowd out for Trials Day 1. Trials Day 2 is pretty soon. I had a funny feeling it might even be next week. Which is very, very quick. And after that, Trials weeks one after the other. But I'm pretty sure it is next week. And it's at Haydock. I think the third one is probably the week after, so they're all pretty crammed in. It's like one of those football matches they used to cram in after Covid, wasn't it? They're playing three times a week. But anyway, it's the Devastator in the lead. On Tipsy Queen in second. The season hasn't even started yet, and I'm rallying already. Tower Hamlets is third. Go Between is fourth. In Cavo Doro. And Tobinia Carpet is after that one. And Thunder Rosa as they get to the 11th. Looks so they all get over okay. Devastator in front, leading by two to three from Tipsy Queen in second. Then Tower Hamlets is third, and the go between and Cavo Doro is just behind them. Tobinia Carpet and the Grey Stentorium Parade is next. And towards the next ditch. So there's a four at the back there. There's two Baltic Road, Baltic Moon, and Thunder Rosa have both gone at that. And it's a short run to the 14th. So plenty of fallers in this. Stentorium Parade made a mistake there as well. As the go-between is losing its place a little bit. And they've been scrubbed along by a jockey to try and get back into that leading group. So now a leading group of four. The Devastator though is two lengths clear of Tipsy Queen, Tower Hamlets and Cavo Doro. 
Then comes the go between after that one, and then Tobania Carpet. Area Elliot is next, and then Stentorium Parade, Little Rockwood, and Lady Sharona, then Little Rock Kingdom, Temple of Buddha, the Great Saddler, and finally Ocean Cave. This is the 15th. It's a plain one. They all get over it. Okay, that was a mistake by the go between, just as he was starting to make a bit of progress. A short run to the 16th, and that time it was Tipsy Moon, that, Tipsy Queen, that made the mistake. It's a short run again to the fourth last, the final ditch, and over that one they go with the Devastator in the lead from Cafo Doro is moved into second. Tower Amlets is in third. Then the Vinnie Gerard was making ground on the outside is Little Rock Hood. Also coming through again now Stentorium Parade. The go between is trying to run on. Tipsy Queen is starting to labour, but the Devastator is in devastating form in the lead at the moment. Little Rock Hood looks the main challenger in second. Stentorium Parade on the outside is just about third from Cavo Doro. These are clear of the rest of them. The go-between's trying to run on. So is Area Elliot. They're coming down towards the second last fence. And now the Devastator's joined by a little rock called Cavo Doro made a mistake when making ground. That put pay to her chance probably. But it's the Devastator in the lead coming towards the final fence. The Devastator's led all the way. Leads by four. Races up the hill towards the final fence then. Four clear. Only got to jump it. Surely the one that's renowned best is Area Elliot. Over the final fence the Devastator took a big leap and it got away with it. He's five clear. He's winning this inner cancer. It's the devastator and devastating form for Joshua Sutherland already, but look at those green jackets flying. Vinnie Gerard is going to be a force to be reckoned with this season. It's the devastator who takes it comfortably. Little Rock Kingdom got up to be second area, really at third. Then Little Rock Hood Tipsy Queen went on against Stantorium Parade, but after that, Cafo Doro and the go between didn't stay the trip. And one or two fallers, but the devastator. Took that pretty convincingly for Joshua Sutherland. Little Rock Kingdom was second for Vinnie Gerard. Area Elliott for David Robertson was third. Little Rock Hood for Vinnie Gerard again was fourth. And the fifth horse to finish was Tipsy Queen for John Morgan. So that's Trials Day 1 in the book. Trials Day 2 will be along next week, as I said, from Haydock.